It's Natalie. So glad you stopped by to hang out with me today while I do some cleaning and a bit of decorating for the fall. This is one of my favorite videos to make every year. And if you've seen my fall clean and decorate with me videos before, you know that I like to keep things simple and more on the minimal side just to cozy up the space and help it reflect the season around us. And so this is the first year in our new home that I get to decorate for the fall time. So you get to come along with me for that. And I'm going to be sharing with you some cleaning and decluttering motivation along the way. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Drop this emoji in the comments so that I can get down there and chat with you guys a little bit more. Also be sure to tell me what you're looking forward to this autumn season. I'm really looking forward to cozy fires in our wood stove and doing some homeschooling with my three kids, which you might see a little bit of them throughout this video because they always like to help me with a little bit of the decorating. They're not here for the cleaning though. Hmm, how convenient. They are actually out with their dad right now splitting firewood. So I'll let them do that work outside. We're gonna work inside. If you want to join me, it's always nice to do some cleaning and decluttering with a friend. So why don't you get on up and we're gonna get to work together. Okay, I have those laundry loads going, and then I think I'm gonna get started here in the kitchen. It's the heart of the home. I always like to start here because if I get interrupted, which inevitably happens, hashtag mom life, I'll at least have the most important room in our house semi under control. Um, I'm gonna diffuse some essential oils. It's time to break out the fall scents. This is pumpkin pie blend by Revive Essential Oils, which is my favorite essential oils brand. Uh, this has clove, cardamom, uh, cassia, which is cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla in it. And it is like Thanksgiving morning in a bottle. I'm gonna get that going in my diffuser. And then I think the first spot in the kitchen that I'm going to tackle is the fridge. Get ready. I need a change. think the fridge looks bad right now. I literally stopped Weston this morning from cleaning stuff out of here because I wanted to do it for this video. Everything is content, everything is content. Yeah, very grateful for him doing that. He actually took several of our like food storage containers that had just like old rice and random stuff in it. He already started to take care of that, but I wanna pretty much take everything out of here and give this uh, fridge a good wipe down and refresh because I have lots of recipes planned coming up here and I'm kind of sick of digging through here and we have got splattered, it's a fridge, let's take care of it. Okay, I have everything set out here on the island, grouped like items together. We sort of have a cheese pile, <laughs> which turns into like butter and milk and creamer. Then we have pickled or fermented items, um, some jams and jellies, and then a couple of like leftover things. Okay, this is by far the grossest thing that I found in the fridge. This sell-by date was July 3rd, and that is right around the time that we started harvesting from the garden all of our greens and uh, lettuces and stuff like that. And so I just forgot about this in my fridge, in my produce drawer, and it is an absolute swamp in there. I'll actually throw that into our compost because I don't think there's any mold growing in there. It's just, it's composting in my fridge. How disgusting is that? That's just real life. It happens sometimes. I keep it real on my channel. And sometimes you have decomposing greens in your fridge. I need to wipe some stuff down. It's definitely a little crummy, a little sticky, a little grimy. Ooh, 
is so shiny and even shinier now that I found the last of the protective film and peeled that off. Okay, let's get the stuff back in the fridge. So much better. I can actually see everything. We are going to move on to another project. I think that project right now is just finishing up this kitchen. I still have stuff from breakfast and there's just odds and ends and stuff to tidy up. I'd like to just finish off the kitchen so we can move on to bigger and better things. You know my whole clean the kitchen first in case you get interrupted philosophy? Well, case in point, after I was done decluttering the fridge and wiping down the kitchen, I got interrupted, what do you know? Um, but then I actually went on a coffee date with a girlfriend, so it was all good, it was so much fun. The next day was my boy's eighth birthday, so I've got Minecraft decorations, party stuff that I'm gonna be taking down and swapping out for some fall decor. Oh, and my sister Anna had her baby which was amazing and such an honor to be there. So congratulations to Anna and Josh. But I was up all night because of it and happy to do so, but I am running on coffee today while I get the rest of my autumn cleaning done. These are like before the season starts sort of things that I like to reset, I'm gonna work on some window tracks, maybe some mopping. I've got some upholstery cleaning to do on the couch. Our doors are looking grimy. Tomorrow, which is actually September 1st, I'll be able to do the decorating and really enjoy a more sparkling, clean house so that I can do that decorating. Um, we didn't make it to September though before the weather really changed. Today we woke up to a very gloomy, cozy day, which I love. The fog rolling through the back couple of acres of our property. We have a glen and so we're looking at the treetops and the, the fog is just rolling through. It gives me goosebumps. It's so dreamy and cozy. So Weston's out with the kids right now doing some grocery shopping um, and I'm going to enjoy the scenery and the solitude and this cup of coffee and we are gonna get started. If you haven't joined me yet for some cleaning or decluttering around your house, why don't you do that now? Uh, you don't have to pick something big, just pick a small task that you can sort of get the ball rolling and we are gonna do some more cleaning together. What a difference a little elbow grease makes. The window tracks are looking much better, um, but I kind of splattered up onto the windows, so I might as well finish the job. I'm gonna wash the windows too.
did not realize how dirty the window to our front door was because it's like this etched frosty sort of 90s window. But even outdated stuff looks better clean. Um, I have grime and fingerprints and stuff on the doors and on the walls of this house. I'm not gonna get to everything this time. And that is okay. Let me give you permission to just pursue progress over perfection. Any fingerprints or grime that I do get to is a step in the right direction. We're gonna head into our kitchen, dining room, school nook area, and I'm gonna work on the windows and the window tracks in there. And while I do, I'm gonna share something really special with you. So today I'm so blessed to be able to put a playlist together for you guys with this video in it and a few other YouTube friends of mine. They are making videos as well that we would love to share with you throughout the rest of this week. It's just sort of a casual YouTube fall collab. I have not seen one of these done on the channels that I follow in a long time and I'm, I'm wondering what's up because it's so fun to be able to share the love, to share each other's channels. We all come from different places places in life, different backgrounds, different beliefs, but we all love to make videos for you guys on YouTube. And so follow the playlist linked in my description box. Go tell these ladies hello and that Natalie sent you. And if you're new to my channel, I am so glad that you are here. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out what I have to share over here. I share videos that is just all about being cozy and living a more simplified life. I have lots of different types of videos that I share on this channel, and I hope you'll enjoy my cozy little corner of the internet if you choose to stick around. And just like that, the fog has burnt off, the sun is shining through the newly cleaned windows, the tracks are looking great. Nice to be able to check that off the to-do list. I'm moving on to other things now. The kids are home. You'll hear Minecraft going on a little bit in the background. It's that time of the day for them. And Weston just got home from doing some grocery shopping. He brought home some goodies for me. It's time to set out my acorn spice, Mrs. Meyer's hand soap by the sink, the uh, peony scent. I've been limping it along and I added water to it. It's, it's just like there's nothing left. <laughs> in it at all. Also picked up this spin mop, which I like to use for big mopping projects around the house. I have one, but we recently moved it out to the bonus room because we had a little kitten accident out there and it's actually good to have one out there. Um, and it was the perfect excuse to buy this special kind, which is the rinse Rinse and clean. It actually has a reservoir that keeps the water clean. Um, and that way you're not like <laughs> dipping the mop back in and spreading dirty water all over your house. And our floors are dirty. I'm gonna get to that. But first, I noticed that I got an order from eBay in and I'm really excited to look at this one. It's so cute. <gasps> oh, a Mr. Toad mug. I was sharing in last week's video, which was my like fall decor declutter, and then I also shared some like vintage and thrifted finds um, that we watch Mr. Toad and Ichabod every Halloween and have since I was like two or three years old. And I found this vintage Mr. Toad mug. Look at what this site says. What have I been missing? So now I have two fall mugs, that hedgehog one that you saw earlier in this video that I've had for years and years. And now this one, so Weston and I can both enjoy a fall time cup of coffee. I'm gonna get Mr. Toad in the sink because we gotta wash him up. We have acorn spice here so we can wash our hands. I realized when I said that Weston came home with goodies for me that I then showed you hand soap and a mop. That is adult life for you. These are the things that excite me. That and using our upholstery cleaner, it is so satisfying to watch all of the dirt being sucked out of our carpets. Uh, today it's going to be <laughs> cleaning the couch over here. And I'm gonna do that. And Weston said he wanted to work on scrubbing up fingerprints and dirt and grime on the walls. Minecraft time is over. They're playing outside and I'm gonna clean up this couch. Ah, the couch. I get questions about this couch every single day. 
you guys always ask, oh, where did you get your couch? It looks so comfy. And I always reply with, it is a piece of crap. Please save your money. It's awful. Uh, we got it three years ago at Costco, but within the first year, it already started to fall apart. I have repaired these cushions on the back so many times. It does not hold its shape well. It's actually not that comfortable to sit on unless you're like laying on the ottoman portion of it. And so we are in the market for a new one. Hopefully we'll get one by the end of the year. So if there's a couch that you absolutely love or you know of one that someone else absolutely loves, would you please let me know? Send me all your couch recommendations. Bonus points if it actually has some storage in it because we'd love to be able to put things like board games and books or baby toys and stuff like that for when my nieces and nephews come over in either the couch itself or the ottoman. So send me your recommendations. It's much appreciated. But like I was saying with our outdated door window, um, it still looks better having it be clean. And so it is worth the effort to clean up the upholstery. That is something I will say in the couch's favor. This material that it's made of is super easy to spot clean and get it looking nicer again. The couch itself though, the structure, the design, it does not hold its shape. It's not supportive and it is absolutely falling apart. So it's the couch we have and we're doing with what we have, but someday soon we are definitely hoping to get something different, especially with hosting football parties or having guests over throughout the fall time when a lot of our activities are indoors. We could definitely use something that works better but also looks better too. Sometimes we act like a fool Not aware we're troublemakers Sometimes we try to be cool not being givers, only takers Stop for a minute Stop and breathe for a minute Don't get over your head Try to listen instead, won't you? Think for a minute Who you wanna be for a minute Don't get over your head Okay, moment of truth Don't judge me And since I'm in here, I might as well clean the bathroom. Okay, I have reached the end of my energy for right now. We're gonna recharge, spend some family time together, eat dinner, watch Bluey, as you can hear. And then I'm thinking when the kids are in bed tonight, I'll do like a, a late night session of vacuuming and mopping so that tomorrow I can wake up to a clean, sparkling house. It's already looking better in here. And then I'll be able to decorate with more than a Minecraft banner on my wall. <laughs> Sometimes we laugh when we're afraid Sometimes we smile when we're mad And some lines we wish we'd never said Stop for a minute Stop and breathe for a minute Don't get over your head Try to listen instead, won't you?
Howdy doody, happy September. It's decorating day and I have something very exciting to show you. Look at what I found. So remember how I could only find my little owl? Well, look at this. I found the squirrel and the fox in a random tote of home decor. And now I have the three piece set that I have had since the year the boys were born. Um, I also in that same tote found this. I actually put this together a couple of years ago um, and it's a photo collage that we switch out seasonally. All of these photos have sort of a fall theme and then at Christmas time I can switch them out with something a little bit more wintry or Christmassy. I love these, look at how cute and little they were. Oh my gosh. I am so glad I found those. I also found in the same tote these little houses that I got the year Haley was born. So lots of sentimental stuff here. I am so glad I found these. And this isn't something that I've had before, um, but I just eBayed this vintage sort of pumpkin shaped. I don't think it's supposed to be a pumpkin, um, but I'm gonna use it this year to replace that pumpkin jar that broke when we moved. Unfortunately, that makes me sad, but I thought that this was so pretty and unique. So I picked up some of the autumn mix. I'm gonna have the kids dump that into here. We'll have a little candy jar. And then I just went around and I gathered some things that I already had on hand. These aren't things that are like specifically for the fall, but they might serve as sort of like a base layer for some of the fall decor that I'm going to put out. I see that out in my garden, I have some sunflowers that are ready to snip. So we're gonna go do that. I think I'm gonna bring the kids out with me and maybe we'll find some other branches or leaves or something to bring in here. This is honestly one of our favorite things to do together is just dress up the house for the autumn time. And seeing some of these pieces that I've had for years and years, they've come with me through the last three or four houses. And I don't know, something about it makes me feel like it's gonna kinda seal the deal for making this house feel like home. So I'm glad you guys are here with me. I hope you enjoy the next few minutes of music and joining us for cozying up our house. I hope you know that you are welcome here and that you're welcome to share the joy that we have in spending time together as a family and helping our house feel all homey and ready for the new season. Sun is warm, there's a gentle breeze all the birds are making homes inside the evergreens The air is clear with our loved ones close Look at our harvest! How pretty is this? We have a zucchini and some basil that will probably be in dinner tonight but I'm gonna decorate with these sunflowers probably pop them into this vase have to take the thrift store little <laughs> price tag off first and then I grabbed this dock weed which is a very pervasive frustrating weed to have in the garden and I've been battling it all year but honestly its blooms are gorgeous so I think I might be popping it into this big vase and uh, making lemonade out of lemons. Even weeds can be pretty. So let's start putting some decor out. I think I'm gonna start at the front door out there on the porch and make my way through the rest of the house. You can pick out every star without a telescope. So beautiful to see how we have changed. In time, you know, Everything we've lost comes on again And I will grab onto your arm A little stronger than we were before I've missed your face Has it been that long? Looking forward to a fire and a sing-along Let's stay the same as the children grow and teach them all the simple things we thought we used to know so beautiful to see how we have changed in time you know everything we've lost comes home
love how this autumn dining table centerpiece turned out. And we have the candy here that we do for treats during homeschooling. Kids will be excited to come in and see that. Also, we'll be excited to see the garland. Earlier today, we were painting these little shapes. I got this little craft kit, I think from Lowe's. Um, and I'm just stringing up the garland and we're gonna hang this together. Final touch. I need the tall person in the house to help me. Here we go, ta-da! I don't know about that color though. I feel like the orange kind of, I think it would look better if it was like the white color like the one I have on the front door. I'd swap them out, but the one on the front door is bigger. That one's the right size for that. It just needs to be maybe a different color. Let me know what you think. And while you do that, I'm gonna move on into our bedroom and get our bed made because I have one little fall time pillow for it. I'm proud, you know, that we always held out hope. So if you grab onto my arm, let's take a walk until the sun gets warm. In time. Okay, fall can officially start now. <laughs> Seriously, I love how it turned out in this house. Would you let me know in the comments what your favorite spot is or like favorite piece of decor or little corner that I decorated today. You'll notice I didn't put everything out and that's because I like to decorate in waves. I like to kind of live in the space before I'll put something new or more out and it gives us something to look forward to as the season goes on. Um, I am definitely looking forward to putting this out. I shared this in last week's video. I inherited this from my grandma after she passed away. There are four of them, one for each season. And so when the season officially starts, I will set this out. I think I'm gonna get like a little entry table or something over here by the front door. I can see my three little gray light up pumpkins being on that. It's so fun to find homes in this new house for a lot of the stuff that we have had for years and years. I keep giggling, looking up at Mr. Owl on the tall window up there. I have always put him on a, a tall spot in whatever house we've had him in. And man, if, if he wasn't an inanimate object, just the things that he has seen and the stages of life for our family, the big amazing moments like seeing our kids learn how to walk in on our living room rug, all the family and friends that we've been able to have over, all of those amazing milestone moments, the highs, the lows. I know that's getting pretty philosophical for a piece of porcelain, but there's just so many memories attached to a lot of these things and it's taken a while for this house to feel like home to me just because we have worked so hard there's been a lot of change in the house with all of the remodeling and renovations that we've done we've spent a lot of time just fixing damaged stuff and that's that's what you get when you get a fixer upper and that's okay and we're so grateful for this place but it's taken a little while and i don't know i think putting that wreath on the front door was the moment that i felt like this is home. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was so great to have you guys along, keeping me company as I did housework, cleaning tasks, as we set out some decor together. Thank you so much for hanging out. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and turn that bell button on so you don't miss future videos from me. If you enjoy videos like these, then you might also enjoy my house to home series. I also have my messy to minimal series or maybe just like my day in the life videos. I love to just keep it real and have you guys along for the ride, whatever it is that I'm working on. And I'm so grateful to have you here. So thanks so much for spending a little part of your day here with me on my channel and I'll catch you later. Love it.
there 